Backdrop is a first-person vertical extraction shooter that feels and plays like a mix of Call of Duty, PUBG, and Escape from Tarkov. The difference from these games and Dead Drop, though, are two major things. One, instead of the ring closing in and pushing players towards the center of the map, the map pushes upwards, forcing players to fight on the higher levels of the map the longer the game takes place. What I like about this is that you don't feel closed in or claustrophobic. The map was just as wide at the start of the game till near the end, but you would run into people more frequently due to more people sharing that level of the map as the freeze moves upwards. The second is the 1993-1994 two-time back-to-back blockbuster video game champion. Dr. Disrespect is one of the founders and will be promoting it and distributing it to his followers and the creator economy. It is awesome to have content creators venturing out and making their own games, and I'm super excited about this. Let's talk gameplay though. Like I said, it plays like a mix of Call of Duty, PUBG, and Escape from Tarkov. The mechanics of the controls feel more like Call of Duty, sliding, mounting, and movement. Uh, the leaning, time to kill, healing, and looting feel more like PUBG, as well as some of the sights. For example, the iron sights are pretty bad in PUBG, and the same goes for Dead Drop, but the equipable sights resembled more like PUBG than Call of Duty. Lastly, the extraction and negotiating elements are like Tarkov. You can choose to partner with a random player, kill everyone, or extract early. It is pretty exhilarating. When you spin up the game, you're presented with your persistent inventory. You're able to equip certain items and go in game to play against a lobby. At peak, I've seen 10 to 15 players being in at the same time, and for the Dallas event, I saw around roughly 20, but also I've seen as low as two players go into a dead drop lobby, and it's just not as fun. Whatever you enter into the game, you have the chance to lose. So if you enter in with a sniper rifle, armor, or bags, or anything like that, if you do get killed, you will lose that inventory permanently. Know this game is in pre-alpha and a lot of subjects change and be improved. No bugs have been game breaking for me, but I will outline some things that I personally found during my playtest. The sound doesn't seem to be too dialed in just yet. I have a hard time figuring out where footsteps are coming from, and also my personal footsteps just seem too loud, but I do think they fixed that in the recent patch. Some visual bugs have popped up for me from time to time, and if you lean left or lean right into an object, you become one with that object, which I found pretty funny. And the graphics and polish will be improved, but as of right now, the average gamer wouldn't play due to some quality of life items, such as the graphics, and also menu items, such as like key bindings and all that things. The reason they are releasing this game in pre-alpha though is because they want to build with the community, and I have the utmost respect for that. A lot of community members, gamers, they don't understand how hard game development is, and what Dr. Disrespect and the team is doing is really letting people peek behind the curtain and really take a journey with the gamers to teach them not just about the game and how fun it is, but also what goes into developing it, and also the community has some say into what comes in the future, which I really love. And I think that is the future of game development, and so I'm super excited about Dead Drop, and this was the first look. We'll see you guys in the next one.